Okay, if you want to start using vinyl backdrops in your balloon designs, whether you're doing a crazy balloon arch, beautiful balloon garland, and you want to know how to put up a vinyl backdrop on a stand like this, this video is for you. Hey friends, welcome back to Bubbly Balloon Co. My name is Rachel. In this video, I'm not only going to show you how to put up a vinyl backdrop on a stand like this, I'm also going to be doing a review of the Loferis vinyl backdrops. Now, they gave me three to review, which was kind of them. Um, this video is not sponsored, I'm not an affiliate, anything like that, but um, I just actually have never used a vinyl backdrop before, so I'm taking this opportunity to one, learn how to do it, two, show you how to do it, and three, review their products. They actually have really good prices. I was impressed with the speed of their service and shipping and all of that, so um, I'm hoping they're good. They sent me three different really cute designs. I'm gonna use one today, and I figure I'll save one or two for future drops. So these are the three designs that I was sent by Lofaris. I think they're super cute, and in today's video, I'm gonna be working with this design right here, which means I have two left. Now, if I were to do a video where I do a whole all-out backdrop of glam balloons, the whole nine, which one would you wanna see? Do you wanna see the orange design or the donut design? Let me know in the comments below, put either brunch or donut, and I will be taking your guys' input, letting you decide my fate. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to set these aside and we will jump right in. Let's unpack. Very securely packed. I'm on my third bag right now. So in a bag, in a bag, in a bag, lies the backdrop. Now they did tell me there's a discount code available for anyone who wants to purchase a backdrop after watching this video. You can use the code YouTube and you get, I believe it is 10% off. Okay, look at this sucker. Again, I've never used a vinyl backdrop before. I think it probably feels just like I expected it to, you know? Like vinyl. Now the one I bought is pretty large. I think I got like an eight by eight or something. Oh wow, you guys. This is cute. Aw, this is really cute. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks like a rainbow clouds, a bunch of gold glitter. It looks pretty cute. Now obviously this had to be folded to be shipped, right? So there are some pretty heavy creases in here. And they did say that you could iron the back of this, the side that isn't printed with the design, to try and get those lines out. So that's what I'm gonna try now. For my cloth backdrops, I usually use a handheld steamer, but it said to use an iron on this. I do have it set to the lowest setting possible because this is vinyl. You know, my tabletop is not an ironing board. So, so I'm gonna start with the lowest setting and we'll see how that goes. of this on the wool setting, which for me was five out of six. And I can see that I made a big difference, but I'm not sure that it's gonna look perfect. But let's see. Okay, ah. definitely looks good. So I'm gonna start by getting the top of my vinyl backdrop attached to the top bar here. Now there is a printed border around all four edges of this, so I wanna make sure I wrap all of the non-printed part, you know, that entire border over the bar, and then I'm gonna secure it in place with these clips, and then once it is secure, I'm gonna tilt them backwards so you can't see them. I hope it works out, <laughs> but here we go. All right, I'm gonna start in the middle as best I can here. And then moving out. Okay, then I'm gonna go over here and try to just keep my pace even with both sides. Now it does look like I need to widen my stand, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. That looks pretty good. Let's start with that. And over here. Okay, I am gonna need to go even wider, so make sure none of my seams are being held here. Just a gentle pull across the top. There we go, just like that. Okay, so now this side is pretty much correct. 
but I am gonna have to go ahead and pull it back and space it out better along the way. So I'll do this. I will do that as well. I can go ahead and turn these if I feel pretty good about that. Okay, that well. There you go. And then this one, it's now pretty even on both sides. It just comes slightly over the edge of the stand, which is perfect in my opinion. Tilt all those clips back so you're not seeing any of them from the front or the top. So we've got it hung, but we've still got some work to do. Let me get my table out of the way and we'll keep going. So at this point, it is like pretty straight along the top. I just want to make sure that I did attach it evenly, that it's not, you know, misaligned. And once I feel pretty good about how level it is, then I'm going to start raising the poles on either side to get it to the full height. And I'm also trying to work the top a little bit to make sure that the clips aren't pulling and creating wrinkles anywhere. Now, if you are putting balloons along the top and sides, you can be less perfect and less careful about this stuff, that's totally fine because this will all be hidden by your balloon garland. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and start raising it up a little bit on each side at a time. Now, if you wanna know more about the backdrop stand, I do have a video up on my channel, um, a tutorial on how to set up a backdrop stand, how to take one down, how to use one. So if you have any questions about the poles, the bars, you know, raising, lowering, all that stuff, it is covered in that video. But as far as putting up a vinyl backdrop, it's this simple. Now, if you want, if you're not gonna be doing a balloon garland or you just wanna take that extra care, go the extra step, what you can do is clip down the sides and pull them around back so that border around the edges isn't showing, it doesn't look unfinished or unpolished. So I'm gonna take some of my trusty little clips here and go work around the edges. Now, for some reason, I have clips with grips and without. And I think when working with a vinyl, something like delicate like this, it's better to use the ones with the grips. I think there's less chance of it pulling in a way it doesn't like or, you know, tearing it. So I'm gonna grab a few clips with grips and work on the side. Now, in my opinion, this is the part that needs the most finesse because if I pull this in the wrong direction, it will create wrinkles in ways I don't want them. So I'm gonna try and pull it as evenly as possible in a few strategic places here. Okay, once I have the other side wrapped, then I'll go back and forth and make sure that it's all even and it's not being pulled in weird ways. creation you do want to look at this through a camera the camera on your phone it works great before you call it a done because sometimes the lens picks up things the naked eye doesn't it might look different you know in that position or it might not look level you might see wrinkles that you didn't before or a lot of times what happens is things that you can see with the naked eye you can't actually see on camera and it looks great so always just look through when you're doing creative things like this just look through the camera and make sure you know you didn't miss anything or you're not killing yourself with details that the camera doesn't even see Final thoughts on the LaFars backdrop. I was really worried when I saw all those wrinkles when I took it out. They were so like set in. I didn't think they were really gonna come out. I thought it was gonna look kind of crappy when I put it up. I was really scared. But I have to say between the ironing, which I ended up doing on the wool setting on high, and um, the stretching on the frame, I actually think it looks great. And especially a design like this, you're probably gonna use for a kid's party. You know what I mean? These, the little bit of wrinkles that are left, I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference at all. And next time I'll probably use a steamer and try to get them out from the inside, you know, do a more thorough job now that I know this can withstand a little more heat. Um, that is, I think, a little more effective way to get rid of wrinkles and backdrops. So I'll try that next time and maybe that'll make even bigger difference here. But honestly, I think this one looks pretty cool. Now this is like a printed image, you know, this isn't Gold Sparkles Above Me, this is an image of Gold Sparkles printed onto a backdrop. 
So for what it is, I think it's super cute, very workable. Um, I was impressed with their prices, with their shipping, their service, all that kind of stuff. They were very quick and responsive. So I've been impressed with everything so far and I do have a couple more products from them that I can't wait to try out in a future video. If I were doing balloons along with this backdrop, I would absolutely eat this theme up. I'd go in with maybe some clouds, create some white fluffy clusters down here, maybe even some super light pink double stuffed, really baby pink along the top to make it feel like it's like this whole design is just floating in those yummy clouds in this kind of a rainbow sprinkle wonderland. So that would kind of be my take on it. But if you have another idea for it, I'd love to hear it down below. What did you guys think? I mean, aside from the ironing, which next time I'll probably try a steamer just because I've had better luck with those and I did have to go on a high heat anyway to get the wrinkles out. But aside from that, it was actually easier than I thought it would be. And I think this makes a world of difference. Like there's just, it's a completely different experience if you do a balloon creation with a backdrop like this. And I can't wait to play with the other ones I got. So please let me know in the comments down below if you would rather see me play with the brunch backdrop or the donut backdrop for an upcoming video. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions for me on how to set up a vinyl backdrop, feel free to go ahead and leave it in a comment down below. I do try my best to get back to each and every one of you. And otherwise, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.